It's coming for us. We don't want to scare you, but you should be aware that a massive galaxy twice as massive as our own is heading straight towards us. The Andromeda Galaxy will collide with the Milky Way head on, like a man swinging for the fences. Our galaxy's structure will disintegrate as a result of this collision. Everything will change as the two galaxies merge to form a new, larger elliptical galaxy. And now that we are aware of this impending calamity, all we can do is ask why. Why is this even taking place? What happens to humanity when this collision eventually occurs? Join us as we explore the fate of the Andromeda Galaxy and our Milky Way. After our own Milky Way galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy is the second most well-known galaxy in astronomy. Although it is one of the most easily seen objects in the night sky and is our galaxy's neighbour, most astronomers had no idea what it was until recently. Fortunately, we currently possess a wealth of knowledge regarding the Andromeda Galaxy, which has become an object of endless fascination in both astronomy and popular culture. The Andromeda Galaxy is so named because it is located in the constellation of the same name. The hot blue subgiant star Alpha Rats, which is 97 light years away and shines with a magnitude of plus 2.06, is the constellation's brightest star. It can be seen from latitudes between plus 90 degrees and minus 40 degrees. Andromeda was a princess from Greek mythology whose parents, King Cepheus and Queen Cassiopeia, chained her to a rock as a sacrifice to appease the sea god Poseidon. Poseidon took issue with Cassiopeia's boast that her daughter was more beautiful than the sea nymphs, Nereids, who frequently accompanied him. The sacrifice they made was meant to prevent Poseidon from destroying the capital city of Aethiopia, where they reigned. However, Andromeda was saved at the last minute by the mythological hero Perseus riding the winged horse Pegasus. Following this, the constellations of Cepheus, Cassiopeia, Andromeda, Perseus and Pegasus were created to honour all five figures. The Greek word meaning ruler of men is where the name Andromeda comes from. However, how did we come to learn about it in the first place? How did we know it was a galaxy similar to our own? Do we know if life can exist on Andromeda and will we ever be able to travel there? Located in the constellation Andromeda, the Andromeda Galaxy is a barred spiral galaxy that is 2.48 million light years from Earth. Its sighting in the night sky has been documented for many centuries and has the official designation Messier 31, M31, also known as NGC 224. Although the earliest record of it appeared in the Book of the Fixed Stars by the Persian astronomer Abd al-Rahman al-Sufi in 964 CE, it is impossible to identify who found it because it is visible to the human eye on a clear and dark night because of its apparent magnitude of 3.4. Edwin Hubble, an American astronomer, was the first to definitively show in 1925 that Andromeda was a different galaxy from our own and not a nebula, as was previously believed. Since it is the farthest distant object in the universe that can be seen with the unaided eye and shares many characteristics with our own galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy is likewise particularly significant to astronomers. Andromeda Galaxy or Andromeda Nebula Andromeda is our closest and largest neighbour in the galaxy, despite long-standing misconceptions that it is merely a little nebula. The Andromeda Nebula was designated Messier 31, M31, by French astronomer Charles Messier in 1774, making it the 31st object in his list of things to avoid when looking for comets. Messier's first interest in the items he was cataloguing wasn't all that great. To help avoid false positive comet identifications, Messier, an ardent comet hunter, prepared his list of objects that could easily be mistaken for comets. However, M31's prominence made it a subject of particular interest to astronomers, including British scientist William Herschel, who believed it to be the closest of the universe's great nebulae. The Andromeda Nebula played a role in the 1920 Great Debate concerning the size of the universe between astronomers Heber D. Curtis and Harlow Shapley. 
According to Curtis, spiral nebulae, like the Andromeda Nebula, are truly distinct galaxies, and the Milky Way is only one of many. Shapley disagreed, contending that there are only the universe and no galaxies, and that the nebulae are merely spiral pockets of gas, which was essentially just the Milky Way. The discussion came to an end without a clear winner. Still, half a decade later, Edwin Hubble utilized information from a particular class of stars in the Andromeda Nebula to estimate its distance from us to be close to a million light years, which is significantly further than the Milky Way's furthest star. This essentially answered the galaxy question. The Andromeda Galaxy is estimated to be 10 billion years old and weighs between 1 and 2 trillion solar masses. It is most likely the result of the merger of several smaller proto-galaxies. Long believed to have a much bigger mass than the Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy's mass has recently been somewhat reduced, while our galaxy's mass has increased as a result of new studies. The two galaxies' masses are now expected to be far closer together than was previously imagined. There is no question regarding its physical size, which is larger than that of our own galaxy with a diameter of about 220,000 light-years, as opposed to the Milky Way's 100,000 to 175,000 light-year diameter. Andromeda is the largest galaxy in the local group by dimensions, if not by mass, and is not just physically larger than the Milky Way. It is well known that the Andromeda Galaxy has an extremely active galactic core and a dense star cluster close to its center. The galactic core appears to have two points of concentration when it is seen by Hubble, with the second point of concentration being a brighter concentration that is located just off the true galactic center. A supermassive black hole located at this second position was most recently estimated to be between 1.1 and 2.3 108 solar masses, or 110 to 230 million suns. It is believed that stars clumping together around the perihelion of their eccentric orbits around the core black hole is what causes the brighter point of concentration. The Andromeda Galaxy is expected to have 460 globular clusters, which indicates that it has been an active eater of smaller galaxies and is why it is regarded as typical for a spiral galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy may possibly be changing from a spiral galaxy to a somewhat uncommon type of galaxy known as a ring galaxy. The hidden, overlapping arms that show up in infrared light to suggest a ring structure surrounding the galactic nucleus can be used to infer this. The Andromeda Galaxy is expected to have more stars than any other galaxy in the local group, with an estimated 1 trillion stars. The interaction and absorption of smaller galaxies by Andromeda over the past several billion years is probably the main cause of this. However, the pace of star formation in Andromeda is decreasing, according to observational data and the galaxy's age, as the majority of its native interstellar hydrogen gas has been used up. As a result, the Andromeda Galaxy will eventually have more stellar corpses and slow-burning red dwarfs than young stars, causing it to fall into the Red Galaxy category. Can life exist in the Andromeda Galaxy? It is even more difficult to say if there may be life or at least the prerequisites for life in another galaxy, because we cannot yet declare with certainty whether any other stars in our own galaxy are hosts to life. However, we know of at least one star in the Milky Way that is able to support life as we know it, and the Andromeda Galaxy is very similar to our own galaxy. Statistics suggest that out of the trillion or so stars in the Andromeda Galaxy, there should be up to a dozen or so stars with planets around them that are capable of supporting life. The Milky Way contains between 100 and 400 billion stars. Although the parallels between the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy have been extensively discussed, there are also some significant distinctions. First, 
there are about 10 times as many stars in Andromeda as in the Milky Way. While it may contain more stars than the Milky Way, it is not nearly as active, only adding about one solar mass of new stars a year, as opposed to the Milky Way's three to five. Although the Milky Way's exact age is unknown, some of its components are thought to be at least 13 billion years old. Therefore, it is possible that the Milky Way formed earlier than Andromeda. The supermassive black hole at the center of each galaxy is the second key distinction. Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way, is completely dwarfed by the supermassive black hole in Andromeda. The supermassive black hole in the Andromeda galaxy weighs between 1.1 and 2.3 by 1.8 solar masses, while Sagittarius A star weighs roughly 4.5 by 106 solar masses. In other words, the supermassive black hole in the Andromeda galaxy is roughly 200 million solar masses heavier. You're in luck if you want to see the Andromeda galaxy for yourself. It will be easiest to see with binoculars or a powerful telescope, but you can see it without them on an exceptionally dark night in a region with little light pollution. The Andromeda galaxy is always visible at mid-northern latitudes, though certain times of the year are better than others. Looking from August through October when the galaxy is high in the sky is your best bet. Will the Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxy collide? According to current theories, the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy are headed toward one another. Before you worry about the effects of that collision, it should be noted that we won't be around then, at least not as a species currently inhabiting the planet Earth. The two galaxies are anticipated to merge to create a new supergalaxy which will be known as Milkameda or Milkadromeda, depending on which name is easier to pronounce. Here's the thing, the vast majority of galaxies are traveling away from us at an incredible speed. This was a significant discovery made by Edwin Hubble in 1929. The further away a galaxy is, the faster it's moving away from us. The most recent calculation by NASA in 2013 put this amount at 70.4 kilometers per second per megaparsec. At a billion light years away, the expansion of the universe is carrying galaxies away from us at 22,000 kilometers per second, or about 7% of the speed of light. At 100 million light years away, that speed is only 2,200 kilometers per second, which doesn't seem like all that much. Is that like the Millennium Falcon Fast or Starship Enterprise Warp 10 Fast? And Andromeda is only 2.5 million light years away. This means that the expansion of the universe is carrying it away at only 60 kilometers per second. This is clearly not fast enough for our purposes of not getting our living room stirred into the backyard pool. Because the gravitational pull of the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxy is strong enough to outweigh this expansion force. It appears as though there is an invisible gravitational rope joining the two galaxies, dragging us to our destruction. We are being approached by Andromeda at a speed of 110 kilometers per second. Without the universe's expansion, it would undoubtedly be faster and far more terrifying. The solar system doesn't break up for the same reason. At a local level, the rate of the universe's expansion is infinitesimally small. Only until you have traveled hundreds of millions of light years does gravity give way to expansion. Everything in the universe is moving away from us at a rapid pace. But gravity is a considerably more powerful force at the local level. This explains why the solar system is stable and why the Andromeda galaxy is heading our way. It will collide with the Milky Way galaxy in about 4 billion years. Imagine a sweet spot when a galaxy is accelerating towards us at the same rate as the universe is sweeping it away. They wouldn't need to get involved in our business because it would stay at roughly the same distance and we remain unbothered. 
This has become considerably more challenging after the 1998 discovery of dark energy. The expansion of the universe is not only continuing, but also accelerating. A distant galaxy will eventually be travelling faster than the speed of light away from us. Only the nearby galaxies, which are gravitationally bound together, will continue to be visible in the sky before eventually merging. The rest will disappear beyond the cosmic horizon and be lost to humanity forever. Knowing that you shouldn't worry about the effects of the collision on humans is important, because it won't happen for another 2 billion years after the impact, which is predicted to occur in roughly 4 billion years. So, if the Earth hasn't already been devoured by our Sun or, at the very least, cooked into full sterility, by the time the process begins, it most certainly will by the time the merger is finished. If any descendant species of humans survive to experience all this in 4 to 6 billion years, they will be more distant from us than we are from the very first single-celled archaea that emerged in the primordial soup of the early Earth. Our solar system might be expelled into the intergalactic medium as a result of the collision, but it is hard to know for sure whether that will happen or what shape the new galaxy will take. However, it is expected that the spiral arms or rings and galactic disks of the two galaxies will be broken up and scattered. It is impossible to predict with any degree of precision whether this will cause the Milka Media to evolve into an elliptical galaxy or a huge disk galaxy. Definitely not something we should worry about. Good luck to the next generation. What do you think? Will there still be anyone on Earth after 4 billion years to marvel at the spectacular collision of the Milky Way and Andromeda? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.